Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman, Knox. Now we are down to only a few. We continue our multi-part series on Canister Filter Wars. Let's get down to the number one. First of all, let me just try and list without a prompter because I don't have one or own one just for the record. And that's not what I want this to be about. Let's just try to list all the canister filters and it is going to date me terribly if you don't know the date already. Um, and if you do, by the way, my presents, I'm still waiting on them, so be sure and send them. But let's date myself and let's talk about all the canister filters we tested for this test and I have used and tested for this final review. We go back in time all the way to Sockham. I think Sockham is how they say it. It was an Italian company that made a green, ugly canister filter that broke, but at the time, it was the only thing you get your hands on. Uh, Alpha Pet was another brand that may have been that company making that canister, but it was another ugly green canister filter with the pump on top. Uh, I still have that in my garage. Um, Let's see who else. Aquel, the newer entry Polish company. We tested those and did a video on that, but I've used some of their units. Some of the units are uh, being, they private label for some other companies and with some modifications and some interesting features. Um, Renaissance. Renaissance was a U.S. company that Hydor, the original parent company for Hydor, manufactured Renaissance canister filters for. I've uh, sold hundreds of those used probably 15 of those. Then later on, Hydor became Hydor, and the Bravo canister filter, which was the same canister filter, was sold under their name, and we distributed them. Hydor's kind of gone by the wayside now. Definitely the canister filters have, and it's not something I would consider buying. Lots of problems with them breaking and things of that nature. The ideas on them were nice. They didn't work out too well. Um, Eheim. Eheim, of course, was all the way back to the beginning entries into the United States. Uh, original one that I owned had a pump on the top of it, and then 2217s. Uh, all the way through, there was a professional model that they did before the professional or ADV Pro model now, and they had a professional model, and one of the very interesting models they did which solved the problem that my biggest complaint was aeration on canister filters. They actually came out with a wet-dry canister filter I bought like five of them. They were ridiculously expensive for the time. And I put them on some salt water tanks and thought it was going to be the end all be all. And it was cool. Talking about, you could watch the canister filter go, drain all the way down. And then it would fill all the way up. And it was still ugly and green, but it was cool. The problem was it wasn't very reliable. Uh, the media they put in it was good, but the float, it came with a styrofoam float to cause it to, to, um, work and let's just say you had to buy floats you had to clean stuff it was discontinued um Hawassa, which you all know about i have multiple Hawassa units um Hawassa is a german company they have italian manufacturing plants german companies places all over Hawassa we mentioned before fluval i go back to fluvals i had brown fluvals so brown fluvals with beige tops Big hunks of junk. The first ones with any real trays, but before they came out with their later models and their different colors. Fluvals, I still have Fluval running now. The FX6 and 4, I've had both of those in their prior names and then now. Uh, then Ciche, uh, I helped with Ciche, sold Ciche all over the place, but I've had Whales and Space Echoes and, and all of those canister filters. I even have some videos on my channel of me playing with those and installing them. Uh, Aquatop. Aquatop has UV models, unique, something unique to them. They have a couple different varieties of those. Uh, they're bigger canister filters uh, coming out of China, and they have UVs in those. And if that floats your boat, that is a unique feature to them. Um, Aqua Clears, which are hang on filters. Marine Land, uh, Marine Land canister filters when they were pleats. Then they put bio wheels on them, self priming. I've had all of those and tried all those. Very little surface area or capacity on there. Uh, Up Aqua, which 
we brought in one of their Chinese units. It has an automatic primer with an air pump button you push on the top of it. Um, Aquarium Pharmaceuticals, they had RENA, which we originally had the original RENA units coming out of France, and then API had it, and then they had their own unit, then they had a, another unit. Marine Land brings in some of the, uh, like the resun of the Chinese units uh, to, to upgrade from their Marine Land uh, 350s and the, the, the self-priming models. All of those I've used. Not a big fan of those at all. Azu, Azu has their own canister filters. They're the same canister filters that um, some of the companies here bring in from Taiwan, Sharumba, uh, is, is those models. You see them in white by some companies now. Um, they're, they, again, they're not going to make the cut at all. I've used all of those, had, worked through their issues, broken plenty of them. Uh, they're not going to make the cut at all. ADA, uh, and we'll go into that a little bit more in a minute. Um, Aquatop, I mentioned, Sun Sun or Resun. It's a brand you see all, all online. Not, if you're going to get that, get Aquatop. The company's in the United States. Much better canister filter. There's a company here to back it up. I know the guys who run it. They're great guys. Uh, at the very least, you know there's people there behind the brand. Uh, Resun, all those things that are just available through Amazon or Alibaba or whatever. I've done, I have bought them all, but I wouldn't mess with any of those. There's just no reason to be that cheap when you're trying to keep your fish alive and you want to keep the tank going. Um, and that pretty much covers it. Now, we weed through all of those and we're down to only a two. So when you get down to only two, uh, I have the various videos that I've already posted on some of the ones that were interesting that made the cut. I want to mention just a few that um, have been talked about, but I didn't, I'm not posting the videos on them, and they are unique. If you're looking for big and monstrous, the FX series, the four and the six, there's really nothing like those. The Eheims don't compare in flow, not to be considered on the big versions. Those two units, if you want to put something into a runner-up category because they're just unique and I've owned them both, um, those are the only two really big canisters. Disadvantage when you get a canister like that is cleaning. My God, it is a five-gallon bucket of water. I know they got that little drain on there. And you can drain the thing, but whew. Uh, all the little clips on the top, everything else. There's no question about the flow rate and the capacity. They have that. But they're bulky, they're not pretty, and they're unique in that category. But we're going to put them runner-up and then right there with them, the Fluvals. The Fluvals do, do have companies that back them up here. Hagen's been in the industry a long time. I still use one on George's tank. The pre-filter's okay, the capacity's okay, the canister's okay if you like their flexible tubing and don't have to worry about it kinking or growing algae that's okay i've broken a few of the plunger handles but the fluval i'm going to put all the fluvals and specifically the fx series in a runner-up category uh, uh to the final two lastly and they didn't make it's not going to make my list but i cannot not mention ada and i'm going to use um some cheat notes right here uh to talk about ada just so i don't mess it up so ada came out with and it's been knocked off by a bunch of chinese and i don't know if it's really made where they say it's made or not but they make a stainless steel canister filter and uh, here's an image of it here we'll put up for just a moment um, and the bottom line is it's a stainless steel canister cannot be used in salt water it's like eheim 2217 and that it's old school designed to look cool when it's underneath there and the problem is it doesn't look that cool it's got the stainless steel's cool but and it, you can argue that it's durable but it's got the pump on the top top like 40 million years ago and the pumps doesn't look cool it looks ancient in my view um not easy to clean. I mean, by their own, they're using a walkie pump, which is a walkie is an industrial pump. It's a good pump. It's like 40 decibels out of the gun at three or four feet away. They even tell you it's louder, but they went for performance. It doesn't fly. It doesn't fly with me. It's $6.99 retail for a canister filter. And then they go up to in the thousands. I just can't sign off on that. I think your money's better spent on multiple other units. I think the Eheim 2217 is a better pick over that. I just don't see wanting to have something that's hard to clean and louder 
just to have a stainless steel thing that can't even be used on salt water. So I want to push that one to the side. I, I'm, I like ADA as a company and the fact of how they were created, that they focus on upper end things. That's nice for the hobby of aquascaping. You know, nobody can say anything against Amano. I mean, he, he created things that we all look at and, and I admire the man and have all his original books in, um, uh, was it Color Chrome? I think they called it in all of those books. But He's passed. That canister filter is something that I wouldn't spend that money on. You have better choices out there. If you just got to have the brand, I mean, that's all you, but that's not going to make my list um, even as a runner up. So now we get down to only two. The only two left, and there's lots of controversy between them, it seems like, and we're going to weed through that. And that's the Eheim 2217 and the Owasa. 600. This is also called the Eheim 600, just so you know. So they are comparable units. You can see immediately this is the larger canister filter. And I am going to run down and uh, just first of all, should I tell you which one I picked? No, I'm not going to tell you which one I picked. We'll make you watch the end of the video. What do you think about that? Um, so we are going to go straight to it and I'm going to use my ratings here off this list and explain all of them and tell you what I liked and disliked about them so we can get down to uh, a canister filter and weed through everything. And then I'm going to take it a step further. So don't stop watching. Uh, at the end of this, uh, there is, were some Q and A's that were out there and I went out there and I did some things a little unique and I have answers to those questions too. So be sure and watch. Okay, first of all, on price. I give them a virtual tie on price, not because of the same price, but because of what you're buying for the money. You're getting far less for this, so it should cost less than the BioMaster. And this is not the thermo model, this is the BioMaster model, but it has abilities to add a heater to it, something you can't even do to this. It has a pre-filter, this doesn't have it. It has more space. This doesn't have it. So pricing, because of the combination of price and what I'm going to say value, you can say this is less expensive if you're on a budget, but if you're looking for features and a combination of what you get for the money, I'm giving those a virtual tie because there is a difference in price, but you're getting what you pay for. Availability, the Aheim or Aheim, one. This is a one. This even back when I bought these from Cal, you could barely find these in stores. And back then, Cal backed up the company and he was here. And then later on, Daniel ran it out of Canada and he was at least here and available. And now it's just not, you can get it online and that's it. There's hardly any store with it. So I'm giving this a one star. There's a reason. There are stores still in Texas. I know they're going to be screaming, oh, we carry them, we carry them. That's because guess what? Cow was from Texas. Those came into Texas. Those stores have been just as, been around, some of them almost as long as me. None of them as long as me, but they're old school and he pushed that hard right in his hometown and and he sold them and they still use them and there's still some advantages so texas you can find them everywhere else good luck awas is available in tons of places online it's available in tons of high quality aquascaping stores even the few stores that carry this you'll see awasa there and there's a reason they've got boots on the ground and this product is available and stores have it available so five stars here one star there gallons per hour 264 gph maximum head seven feet six inches 350 gph maximum head six feet six inches 23 watts for the Owasa and um, 20 watts for the Eheim. Very efficient motor block. The flow's not what I would like it to be at the lower head pressures, but it does have slightly higher head pressure. I'm giving both of these a three on flow. You know what I think about cancers. My opinion is they could all be better. Okay, they could all be better. Uh, I know there's limitations based on pack and pump and price, and uh, that's why, if you will, that ADA unit, they went ahead and put a bigger pump on there. But I'm not going to sacrifice. I want it to be better, but I don't want it to be a tank or be loud or have a hum because that's not why you buy this. If I don't want to hear any of that, I'll go to a DC pump and listen to the, you know, get a sump and quieten the thing and I'll make it quiet anyway. When you look at flow, we're giving these a virtual tie. Noise. 
32.8 decibels compared to uh, 33.4. So close, you cannot tell a difference. But they both get five stars from me. Five stars on noise. That's why I bought my first uh, Aheim Awasa with the housing and the beefiness of it. I'm glad I didn't have to sacrifice on noise there. So that's 33.4 decibels at approximately three feet away from the unit and not, not in a cabinet. So that's how that was done. And you can watch those videos to see that. Uh, ease of use. I guess the Eheim's easy to use, Eheim, as they say. Uh, it's, I'm giving it a three. Um, three star, it's okay. You can start it. It's old school. The, the taps are nice. They're ugly, but they're very functional. That being said, I've had three units that I've bought in the last few years, and I can't explain why, but the taps leaked from day one right in the fitting, and I could never get them made up. I ended up buying new ones, and that stinks, and I don't like it. And I cannot give this the rating it used to have a long time ago. On the Owasa, when it comes uh, to that uh, ease of use, I am giving it a five. It is easy to use. It's easy to start. It's easy to prime. It's easy to get going. It's, they start up, and I'm giving it a five star. Ease of installing. Um, when you first buy them, uh, again, this you have to cut more parts the tubing's okay it's not that hard but you got to suck on it and i'm gonna and i'm gonna give it um three stars awasa there's lots of components to it which is a good thing but when it comes to installing it figuring it out figuring out how not to flood the floor watch my video that'll help you but uh once you know that it never happens ever again just so you know and i'm going to give it a four star rating um leaking leaking I mentioned the valves. I did have double taps disconnect. There's more places because of this and having to connect all of these bits and parts. There's more potential leak spots, but when you just let's focus on the canister. They've improved. Years ago, they didn't have this. They did improve the O-ring on this canister filter, and once you get it into place, it doesn't leak as long as these clips. You gotta be careful with those clips, but as long as those clips are on and you haven't broken one, which you can do, they don't usually leak. The Awasa, I, with the exception of a user error, which I mentioned in one of my other videos, it only happened one time, I have not had one of these leak. Now granted, I've had these for 30 years, and so it's not completely fair, but out of the gun, you get high compression, good seal, no real leak issues at all. And so I'm not giving that, uh, I'm giving it a good rating on the leaking. A four on the, the Aheim, a five on the Owasa. Clips. These are metal. And when you bend them, you can bend them back. You can also break this, these little holders for them. And I've done that a couple of times. I've had these corrode, uh, even though they're supposedly stainless steel. I can't give... I can't give that a good rating. I mean, I just literally, you just zing one off right there, just doing that. And you can lose them, and you can't get them very easily. And when you go to put them back on, sometimes you break them. And so I'm not giving this a very high rating because of the clips. The clips on these are excellent. Very sturdy, very strong. I've never had issue with the Owasa, and that's true of all their models. So on the clips, two rating, five star rating for the uh, biotherm or the Owasa canister filter. Okay, returns. Oh my God. Okay, I know there's lots of people complain about the returns. Uh, Owasa gives you a lot of parts. You get this adjustable, uh, I'm sorry, that's the inlet, excuse me. You get this adjustable flow. Um, you get the adjustable flow, which I don't know. They actually, they have, they have adjustables on both of those. I don't know who's going to adjust those. My opinion is you're going to leave those on max all the time, but we're going to call that nice. You can adjust the flow on these, okay? Make sure you have them on max when you're doing testing because if you, you can touch, move these without a coin, but they need a little coin or a fingernail to get in there to move. I do like the returns better. This is gray, okay? This comes with uh, a spray bar that's gray. It comes with... Um, 
Here it is. Comes with a spray bar that's gray. Gray's better than green. Gosh, green. It's just, it's just green, okay? That's all I gotta say. It's green. That's all, I mean, it's, it's green. It works okay, sort of. The suction cups come off. They're not very good. The suction cups are better here because they lock into place. All suction cups fail. I can get parts for these if I need to. There's two positions on the suction cups. Excuse me, I like that. Uh, so we're gonna give, you know, the Owasa a little bit higher rating than the Eheim. So on the returns, one star for Mr. Greeno. Um, I, don't, I don't think that holds up to modern day standards. And a three star, um, uh, for the uh, Awasa. Inlets, again, we're back to green. I mean, it's one star. It's a one star. It's green. It may work okay. The intake works okay. I've had my Tetras, uh, uh, as in car neons, go in, or baby cardinals. I had them go in the intake of this. Not as bad as some of the other units. Some of them have huge inlets on them. But, uh, I'm going to give that a low star rating on the inlet of one, back to a three on a Wasa. A Wasa does have the adjustable flow. It's gray, thank goodness. I can cut it, and it's telescopic. I can remove the end as needed and put that back on, too. So that is an advantage of, of this unit. So I'm going to give it a three. It's not perfect. You can break the thing. You can have to replace those. But it works well, and it's gray. For canister filters, as far as they go, a three-star rating. So that goes to the Owasa. Starting two-star rating on this, you're going to have to, just like the ADA or anything that doesn't have a primer, uh, at least it doesn't have a primer that doesn't work like about 30% of them out there. But this one, you're going to have to suck on that inlet to start it if you have to restart it from scratch or drain the tubing. So this is going to have a lower rating, the 2217 or 600. Uh, you're looking at a two on that because it is doable. This is going to have a five star, um, I'm sorry, a four star rating. Um, it does start. It's a little hard to push. I don't really think there's a five out there. A five star rating on a canister would have this kind of volume. You plug it in and it just worked and you never thought about it. There's not a five star canister out there uh, from my view. They all can catch bubbles in them. They all can be tilted. They all have something going on. But as far as primers and not having one fail, not breaking one and having one work, uh, so far, this is a four star. It's one of the best I've seen on the market. I will say now, when we talk about starting, we're not just talking about priming. We're talking about it running after it gets primed. This is a one if you count sucking on a tube as a one, but this motor will start. It will start. And so you give it another start. You know, once the bubbles are out of it, it'll start. Occasionally, you get an air bubble caught in one of these type canister filters, and you have to kind of lean them a little bit to let the air bubble come out. Again, that won't happen if you drain the canister all the way down and let it fill all the way back up with some force, but it can happen. So there you go. Um, quick disconnects, I mentioned that earlier. These quick disconnects, if they don't leak, uh, initially, they seem to last forever. I find use for these valves uh, in other applications other than the canister filter. So I like them in that regard. Uh, if you get the right tubing, they'll sit okay. The disconnect on this is excellent. It's a little harder. Anytime they're hooked together, it's a little harder to manipulate the two hoses, but this still always works right. It always locks into place, with exception of the one user error, which I mentioned before. I have not had one of these leak. Um, so quick disconnects. Three-star rating on this. It's old school. It's big and beefy. Three-star, five-star uh, on the Owasa. It's one of the things they've done really well. Ease of cleaning. You need your own colander. You need to take this to the sink. You need to put filter bags in this. You saw from the video, it's just simply harder to clean. You take the whole thing back with you to the sink and you make a mess and you put it all back together again. Two stars, everything you hate about canister filters, this one has it. Five stars on the Owasa. My gosh, this pre-filter, I love it. I will go in and I will clean this pre-filter every week on some of my tanks because it's just that simple. I can do it in five minutes. Don't get a lot of water in the floor there. Uh, the valve on it, you know, I, it, eventually these things are gonna have to wear out, I'm sure. Mine so far have not, and I've been using them for over two years, and it just works. So that thumbs up uh, to 
uh, the Owasa on that. Volume of filter media tested. So you're looking at 1.6 gallons of this and it really is almost all media. And you're looking at 1.8 gallons here. So this has higher media. Now what is that media? It's biological media. Um, but volume wise, you know, this has volume of media, three stars, it's good, it's okay. A lot of them I'd give a two star rating. Uh, the Owasa I'll give, it is slightly larger in capacity and I'll give it a four star rating. Media they ship with. Both of them are threes, okay? I don't, there's so much controversy over that. Sponges, plastic media, um, here you go. F is substrate, pro, the round. I like it, but you got to get to the bottom of it, and it's okay. And you remember my video, you can make them both better. Uh, you can customize them both. I think you can do anything you want with these units and make them better. But out of the gun, out of the box, um, I'm going to give them both a three. So they tie at that. They both have advantages and disadvantages, and there you go. Remember my video on the packing tubing. Both three stars. Good God, people bitch about this too. The aquascapers just complain and complain about this. Um, and you, this is no reason to. Okay, first of all, if you don't like the tubing and none of them are perfect from any of the can canister filters, you bow and you buy, and I keep talking about, this is Vincon. It's easy and pliable. This is made in the United States by a company that makes Tigon, medical grade tubing. It is not the stuff you get at Home Depot, Lowe's, or the hardware store. That stuff is crappy. And these guys provide you with better tubing than that crappy clear tubing. Doesn't have a blue tint or whatever. This is the way to upgrade with Vincon. I buy the 9 16 Vincon to go on the uh, 5 8 uh, outlets or the, me uh, the metric outlet. It fits well. It's snug enough. You don't have to worry about it. And I just want to get that out of the way. They do have other sizes, of course, for the other size units half inch fits uh the e -Hyme, and then you use the the uh, 9 16 on the inlet but that's vincon but let's get that out of the way give them both a tie on that um three uh three stars for tubing now uh looks eh, it doesn't look good i mean it looks okay i'm gonna give this a two star rating uh i think the awasa looks cool you know, if I want to see something down below that people are going to see, I like the blue, I like the gray. There's, I'm not going to see filter media through there. Uh, no algae is going to grow through there if I'm leaving it open into the air. Um, I'm going to give the Owasa five stars on that because I do think it looks it looks cool. Eheim, uh, not as high of a rating. Okay, now we're at opening, opening the canister filter. Uh, I've talked about this a little bit before, but the Eheim is not going to get a very... Uh, good rating on this opening i'm giving it a two the reason is sometimes hard to open when the o-ring's not lubricated there's only one little lever to pull up these clips can fall off and get lost they can get bent when you go to put them back on often you can um you can break them and i've done that over and over again if you um are not careful and you've got to make sure and open these valves because if you don't open the valve there's a suction and you can't open it at all just like a straw so remember that um you're gonna give that a fairly uh low rating on opening so opening a two the was it's not perfect blue you touch other things you don't the clips work unbelievable i haven't had one break yet you shut off um your disconnect first and it allows you to shut off the pre-filter you can take that to the sink by itself or you can continue and remove the whole rest of the unit it's not a five star because you got to be careful when you pull that up if you have the heater chamber in you don't want to break your heater but i have never broken a heater so with that being said i'm going to give that um, four stars carrying to clean Ehem, again, you're talking about something. There's really no handle. You've got to carry it with wet hands. You've got to not break off this bottom inlet. Um, and it's not going to rate very high on carrying to clean in two stars. This is a handle that works on the Owasa. I have literally, I was afraid of it when I first bought one, but you, this, you can carry these units to the sink full of water and they don't break. And I'm gonna give it a five star rating on the carrying handle. It works very well. Bypass, lots of contra controversy on the internet about bypass and in, in the market as well. 
this canister filter, you can argue that it won't bypass. Still, water can channel. It's going to take the pass of least resistance. Still could have some issues on it. I'm going to give it a fairly high rating on bypass of four. I do not think, none of my tests showed, and I can't find any indication that water can bypass significantly anything on this. The water that comes in these units is supposed to go in and come out clean. They both do that. I would rate them a tie, but just for sake of um, th there are trays that are held together here. I don't think any water bypasses the filter, the pre-filter to speak of. I couldn't find any bypass of the media. The trays are the best of the trays that are sold uh, compared to all the other trays that I've messed with. They don't float. You don't have issue. I'm going to give this uh, a three and a half star rating and we'll give the Eheim four star rating on uh, bypass of the filter media. Instructions is next. Instructions, two, <laughs> these instructions aren't very good. Um, there's not a lot, it, you know, a lot of, it, it's okay compared to some out there, um, but it's not good. Two star, I hate running through all the languages. I know that's good for some people and politically correct and blah, 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 but not very good. The, the instructions here are a little bit better. The pictures are very nice, easy and quick to, to look at and uh, figure out without having to read too much. Uh, we'll give them the slight edge. Two star rating on the Eheim, uh, a three on a Wasa. Warranty, two year warranty. I don't know who you contact to get it done unless you're going to contact Germany. Not a lot of dealers. I don't think the warranty's worth much. I will say this is a reliable unit. There's not a lot of warranty issues, but I have had them. I've had parts break new in the box, and I failed at successfully getting them warranty. Had issues with these, mostly in shipping. No issues overall with lots of warranty claims, but you can get people on the phone. It's a three plus one, a four-year warranty. Double the warranty and double the presence in North America to take care of you easily wins that category. Companies, this goes hand in hand. Who you talk to in North America for this company, Eheim? I don't know. Used to be Cal, a great Texan. You could get him on the phone at least. Then Daniel after that. Not sure how well you got him on the phone. Now, and they might do a great job in the rest of the world. And I'll give them, I'll give them a one star because of that. Give them credit for that. But two star on company uh, for Eheim Owasa. Again, going back to a five star rating. I know these gentlemen, I've seen them at shows, ladies and gentlemen, I should say. Uh, I know the people here. I know the people from Germany. I know they have boots on the ground. I know they have reps on the ground, warehouses here. They take care of you. They're available. Five star rating. Support for the industry. Uh, most companies could do better in that regard. Some of it's financial, of course. Um, it, one for this company. Eheim. In North America, again, I'm not speaking for the rest of the world. Maybe they do a great job everywhere else, but for here in the United States, it doesn't exist. One star rating, uh, they don't do anything. Four star, Wasa. Support for the aquascaper. Some people think that's bad. Support for the shows. Some people think that's bad. It's buying uh, publicity. <laughs> Shaq may not eat a lot of Papa John's, but that doesn't make you not buy Papa John's, right? Um, uh, it's, they support the professionals that give us the enthusiasm, the great aquascapers out there. There's no great aquascaper that's gonna cave in and back this company because they may give them a canister filter or do something to support them just because of that. The truth is they do both sides of it. They produce a great product and they also back up the industry because they want us all to have an industry to continue to enjoy the great hobby. I think that's a positive. I'm going to give support to the industry to four. Same for stores. Stores, when you look at stores, um, non-existent, one star. You can get a hold of a rep, you can get a hold of a manager, you can get a hold of just about anybody. And you can even talk to an aquascaper or an Owasa um, ambassador. The ambassadors, they even have ambassadors to the brand. That they'll tell you they're being paid. They're ambassadors to the brand. That means two things. One, they get along with the company. Two, they already like the product. And three, they're willing to bid on the ground. They're professionals in their craft. They're great aquascapers. They're great hobbyists. Maybe they're ex-professionals. Maybe they're professionals. But the bottom line is 
there's some advantage to talking to these people, not just about Awasa and canisters, but about our hobby in general. And Awasa has those people out there for you to talk to, for you to look at their social media. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. And then help for local dealers, dealers that goes hand in hand. Uh, four stars, everybody could do better with that, but that's great in my view. One star for the Eheim, and without question, Owasso wins the battle for best canisters out there right now in the market. Do we want to see a bigger one? Sure. Um, but model to model, flow to flow, capacity to capacity, putting this to rest oh no we're not gonna put it to rest because let's address some of the controversies that started this video I went out and I looked online and this goes hand in hand with what I said about companies I found even if I found them ridiculous I found some of the biggest complaints in videos and in blogs that I could find on the internet and I picked up the phone and I called Owasa and said hey did you see this hey did you see that do you have a response not only do they respond and did they have a response to all of those things but they also had already solved a lot of them so I'm gonna go through that real quick I've got my list uh, that I sent to them in email I'm gonna go through that but more importantly I'm gonna tell you my opinion of it because their opinion it may be politically correct if you will which that's okay too but we're gonna talk about my opinion of it okay Number one complaint out there is tubing, okay? <laughs> I, I talked about this ad nauseum. The tu no tubing is perfect, okay? There's no tubing perfect for any situation. You get a really pliable tubing that's clear and nice, yeah, it's going to kink a little bit more. more you got to be careful installing it. It's going to grow algae. got to be cleaned. So there's a disadvantage to uh, clear tubing. Uh, both tubings, I looked at both of these companies, you know, they're... The green is ugly. The gray is better looking. It's gray. They're both not perfectly flexible, but they're much better than Home Depot, Ace Hardware, crappy tubing like that. So I don't know how you can beat up a canister filter company on that, at least not these two. I'm, I have had some that good grief, you just throw in the garbage, but that's not what this is, okay? So I find this comical. If you want clear tubing and you're an aquascaper or you like that look, don't go to Home Depot, don't go to Lowe's, don't go to any of those places or a hardware store to get crappy tubing. By Vincon, it's made by Tigon. By 916th ID Tubing, that's what I use. It'll fit these fittings in metric very snugly without leaking. We use them at aquascaping trade shows when you're going to use them with glassware and you want that clean, just clear look. Disadvantage, you got to clean it if you want it to stay clean and it's exposed to light. Advantage, it looks nice. You can't fault canister filter companies completely for the tubing. I didn't find either one of these. The green I hated, but as far as flexibility, it was okay. The gray, a little less flexible, but gosh, it's gray. It's not green. They both put their logos all over them, but they're companies, I guess. Let's throw this away. Okay, then uh, Biomaster Top Tray Clogging. There were complaints out there that the top tray can clog. Well, it doesn't clog when it's packed as it comes from the manufacturer because there's a sponge on the top. But people, and you saw it in my video, they don't use the bonded padding. Instead, they, that I use and prefer, they use floss. And that was addressed, okay? First of all, and I, this, I, I have old and new models, but all my most current ones are new. There's a tray there. That pushes into place against your floss and prevents the floss from hitting your impeller. I would cut blue bonded padding for that fine filtration, not floss. But that being said, that is put to rest and doesn't need to be a concern from the things that I saw out there. Complaints on being able to get the heater adapter open. Good grief. First of all, I find that a joke. The old style, just so you see, and this is their response that they sent me. Okay, they didn't used to have this little fin on there, which gives you a little bit more leverage to open that. This doesn't have the heater, but this is the hole that you take off to put the heater in. So they added the fin, so people with delicate hands, guess what? I can turn that without the fin. And that's what it was like before. 
this is this is not something you would go slamming the company about. It's very minor and it's not an issue. I didn't even know that this was a complaint. That's why I mentioned it because I never had issue with this at all, ever. Okay, problems with air purging. I have both old and new models and I mentioned in my very first video, the very first one I hooked up, you know, to, it, it could catch bubbles and you it was a little bit harder to prime, not hard by any of the canister filter standards, but this was also addressed in an update. Uh, that is the new style of uh, air uh, purge device and that, that little piece in there helps break up the air and purge it and that was not an issue and that was Owasa's response to that. What's the key to this? They actually are responding. They're actually doing things. No manufacturer out of the gun day one gets something perfect, but they got people here listening to you guys, listening to me, and they're making changes. I did not have issue with this prior to the change. That's how minuscule that it was. Um, complaints about the fittings and stuff. So there were complaints that these weren't snug enough or they were too snug. So they put more of a polish on the mold and they made them better. Uh, again, I never really had any concern of this and didn't even know this could be an issue until I heard about it. I think it's just people complaining they don't like this because guess what? They're hardcore aquascapers. They like glass inflows and outflows. Well, that's great. You can buy one of these for a fraction of the price of the 88, throw all this away, still buy two nice Viv inflow and outflows, a surface skimmer. You can, in some cases, you can get the heater, although you may not need it for the August gaming. You can buy all of those things and you still save money over buying uh, one of the quote canister filters made just for aquascapers. And that leads me to the next thing that was a complaint. People were complaining that they just cater to aquascapers. Well, that's not, that's crazy. That's why the gray tubing's on there. That, that's nobody, you look on the box for goodness sakes. They may be paying these guys that inspire us to use these products and show us how they can be used and create these ideal environments, but they are huge in the pond industry. They're huge into all types of aquascaping, if you will, that's not related to aquariums. They are pond guys, pump guys, filter guys. They do not cater just to aquascaping, and I just, I don't even know, again, how that's a complaint, but that was out there, so I mentioned that. Um, Filter sizing. Now this is an issue for sure. I've said it over and over and over again. There's complaint that these filters, they size them too large. Well, it's sized the same as this filter. This filter's smaller for goodness sakes. But guess what? All the manufacturers, they chase a game because of us, the consumers. We look at numbers. Now, what's the GPH? What's the bio filter? You know, what's it rated for? Now, somewhere along the line, they went astray and they got in these battles and they, they make them up. Every, every rep I've talked to will recommend, even the old Ahan people would say, do salt water go up, up or heavy load go up a model. I recommend go get the biggest one of these you can afford that'll fit in your spot and it'll work right because the bigger it is, the better it's gonna be, the more it's gonna filter. Use all ratings from every single manufacturer as a guideline, but not as the end all be all and they're going to be in a perfect pristine i'm sure they tested it the better companies on that size aquarium at some point but my opinion is the flow rates aren't high enough alone to move the debris the auction level is not high enough to move the debris the filters they can't afford this this company can't afford to rate theirs half this company just because somebody complained on the internet if they did the people that don't know a lot wouldn't buy it so some of that's on us too this is not a reason to not like Awasa or any company. You could argue that maybe that makes you mad about every company, that's fine. Too many fittings. I read and listened to too many fittings. It was like an environmental complaint. Awasa comes with too many extra parts that you may not use. Awasa gives you too many things that you could customize, too many different ways to have inlet and outlets. Okay, if you don't like plastic, don't buy plastic. If you don't like the plastic extra pieces, go and take them yourself to recycle them, for goodness sakes. But complaining because we get three different ways to outlet flow on this unit, two different lengths of uh, spray bars, my gosh, thumbs up, five stars of wasp to keep up the good work. Now they responded with politically correct email to this. They're looking into ways to uh, return label free of charge used parts that uh, 
strictly, you know, they returned or whatever to, re to recycle them. Be responsible yourself. Don't do that. I, I say a was no, don't do it. That's caving in. Y'all can do it at your company, but it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. If you don't like plastic, now I'm getting on a bigger soapbox. Gotta stop that. Tested flows, we talked about that as complaints about flow. Um, all of these units, I've been to the testing and seen the testing facilities in most of these companies and how they test them. The, the tests are done right, but people customize the tests, okay? Customize their canisters, excuse me. Once you customize your canister, the flow could be different. Um, I have not had issue with flow as long as you keep units clean. I have seen where flows reduce, you use a glass inlet. Glass inlets have little fine um, or inflow, they have little fine grooves. Those can clog up. Those can cause every single canister to clog up fast when the big leaf goes over them because you don't have as much surface area as some of the models that they come with. Uh, you can buy a Wasa also, you can, and I mentioned this in videos, you can get the pre-filters that are more coarse sponge if your pre-filters clogging too much and you, you don't want to clean it. I use what comes with it and I just clean it. That's how I like it. And lastly, somebody talked about putting biological media and it just slows down. It's not true. You saw how I pack the filter. You know how I recommend using them. Mine do not slow down in flow. Now somebody may take the finest grain possible, try to treat this like a sand filter and slow down flow. But if you follow my video in the biomatrix and you pack from coarse to fine and you pack it the way I'm talking about, you'll have huge biological filtration and no issue whatsoever. And that's true of both units. It's definitely true of Awasa and I'm not buying this and had no experience with any of this being true. So those are most of the major complaints. The rest of them were equally uh, as ridiculous. Let's just be clear. I'm Ralph Cabbage. I'm Aquaman Knox, Biomaster. Two thumbs up. It wins the wars. We have put this to rest. Be sure and like me, subscribe to the channel. Ask me questions if you need to. Keep me motivated to keep on doing this. Have a great day.